Howdy folks, Bad Mark with Mac Tech here, another day in keyboard land. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Royal Kludge uh, TKL. Now, I've had several Royal Kludge boards, I, I still do, um, including their 60%, their 96%. Um, I have quite a few of these, they're quite known, but TKL is honestly, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like all different profiles and I can work with pretty much anything. But TKL is something that I eventually fall back to. And I was—I just had never gotten around to this. Now, normally it is listed for $64.99 uh, on Amazon. Uh, but the other day, it came across my feed. It was a one-hour flash sale for $37. And I bought it. So I wanted to see, because I've enjoyed other Royal Kludge boards before. And, I mean, they're not the best out of the box. But they're very modifiable. And usually, actually... On all the RK boards I've modified, I've ended with a good result, something that I enjoyed. So I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and review of this one. Uh, later on, I'm going to get into actually modifying and getting the best sound out of this board. But right now, it's just a review because, I mean, like I said, I didn't know until, well, not recently, but I didn't know for a while that RK had a TKL because it never really came up on the searches. So... Now this one, I did hear that it does have a shroud. Okay, so it has, I believe it has two shrouds, so one must be installed on it already. Now, I do like this. Why? For one, customization. Um, you know, changing your keyboard isn't quite as easy, but imagine, you know, here you've got, let me see. All right, here's the keyboard. It's, wow, it's actually, it's it's got some weight to it. It's got some heft. It doesn't feel as light as other keyboards, but having these shrouds are, it's not, is it magnetic? I don't think it's magnetic. I think it's just clip on. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you can definitely hear some of that ping in there. We'll definitely address that when it comes time to mod. Ah. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is, okay, there we go. Uh, Looks to be. Oh, sorry about that. Now I've vibrated the camera. All right. So we've got two different shrouds. They're basically two different profiles. One's a low profile, one's a higher profile. But the fact is that, you know, whether you go with the white or the black, you could literally paint the shrouds different colors if you wanted to. And hey, I like red during the day and blue at night, or whatever the colors may be. You can easily modify the look of your keyboard like that so i do like that fact that is a really cool fact the other thing that i'm actually like i said i'm quite impressed about and can't wait to do um the modification on this board because i want to get in there i mean obviously i'm sure the battery is part of it because this is a uh, three mode keyboard it does have a Oh, I forgot what size battery. I want to say it has a 3,800 milliamp hour battery, but I'm not for certain, so don't quote me on that. But it has the Bluetooth and the 2.4 gigahertz. It also has both the small and the taller flip-down legs. Oh. So you get a total of three different typing angles with this thing. And even here, so not only three different typing angles, but three different looks. Do you want it floating style? Do you want it? Let's see what it looks like with the low profile on here. I mean, like I said, it's not going to be much of a difference at first glance, but oh, it's still actually because you kind of get the the middle of the floating deck, but with an edge still. Um, <clears throat> so having this uh, this double shroud, I I actually like that. And wish oh, I actually popped the key off. So now you can see what I've got on here are the RK Browns. So yeah, this keyboard. I mean. Let's uh, give it a quick little stab, stab, space. All right, I've heard other boards that sounded worse, but I mean, obviously this one is rough and needs some help. So like I said, I'm going to be going in here and giving this a, a thorough modification, and I'm going to get the best sound out of this board that we possibly can and 
possibly try some new switches in here as well. But like I said, this went on flash sale. I don't know if it goes on flash sale a lot. I had actually put it in my cart. Um, and a little trick. It, it, it kind of works. It works for me. I don't know if it'll work for you. If you use Amazon um, and you place something in your cart and then hit save for later and then go visit your cart page a couple times a day, once or twice a day, and you will see an update. Make sure to look at the top of the page. It'll see items in your cart have changed price. Now, many times that's going to be the price went up or the price went down by two cents. It's not. It's going to be something you can just ignore. But sometimes there will be, it's currently on sale and it's half the price or it's 45% off or it's 39% original price, whatever. You will see and you'll be able to catch anything that might be on a temporary you know, sale on that cart page. So that's just a little trick I've been using for a while and it's helped me to get Amazon products at the best price they're available on Amazon. So um, if it's something that obviously I can wait for, if it's something I need, yeah, we pay the surcharge for the speed, right? So anyway, this uh, so far, I'm very impressed with this keyboard. Oh, oh, what's a proper unboxing without showing what else is in here? So we've got oh, a few extra um, brown RK switches. I'm guessing in case we broke some on the way out. <clears throat> a very basic USB-C, USB-A to USB-C cable and one of the... Uh, double-sided cap pullers that we have all come to love and collect so that was just a quick unboxing of the rk987 i believe that's the model number of this board let me put this all back together in here uh, it's making more noise than anything So this, uh, this TKL, it seems to be a really good bargain uh, for the price. But like I said, we, we still have to modify it and get in here and see what we can do to this board. And let's bring out some life out of this board. But let's just see. I know we'll probably end up getting putting some keycaps without shine through on here. But I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what... Yeah, and you can see this is a there. There is a version of this that I believe has like a USB a USB uh, hub. So, all right. Oh, well, the lights are not very bright, but they are there. They are there. That's for sure. And that's the control for it. So that has. I believe this has a good amount of light effects. Uh, Royal Kludge is known for. Uh, including some pretty good uh, effects in the RGB. So anyway, we will be uh, breaking this keyboard down and uh, giving it a, a thorough modification. We'll get the best sound out of it. I'm probably going to put some of my new tactile switches in there and see if we can get this keyboard to thock. Well, until then, this is Bad Mark. Keep calm and keyboard on.